Hey everyone, it's Brad and Joe from Rust Sound. And in our previous videos, we kind of went over the features and functions of our Bluetooth products. On this video, we're actually going to show how you connect the Bluetooth options to a controller, in this case, the MCA66. So Joe, take it away. Show us how we hook all this up. So by default, you have Source 1 on an MCA set up for Bluetooth. All you have to do is plug it in. Right. It's pre-configured. Yes. Yeah, Preferably actually. shut the MCA off before or any electronics before you're unplugging and plugging in audio and data connections and then power up afterwards. Mm -hmm. So with this, we're just going to plug it into the Bluetooth port here right. on the That's back of the, the MCA. the dedicated Bluetooth port that is associated with source number one. Right. And then back here. And that's it. This supplies audio, data, power, everything is ready so to go. This is good to go. Done. Right. One Bluetooth source. Now, if you want to add a second Bluetooth source, it gets a little bit more involved. So let's right. show that. So if I want to have the data come through the system the same way this does, I have to set it up for that. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to take your BTC2X and on the bottom is a little tiny dial with numbers and each number represents what source you're going to use. So for this case, we're going to use it for source five. And we just turn that dial to source five. Okay, and that's set. So then we're going to take this and we're going to plug it into the BTC2. So once that's plugged in, we're going to plug this into power. I'll spin it around and show you what's going on here. All right, so now both these devices are powered up, as you can see, the LEDs. Now on the back of this, we have a pair button. And normally just used for Bluetooth, but in this case, this first time setup, we're going to hold this button down to match these two together. So I'm going to hold down the pair button. I want you to watch the for the LED. All right, so holding down the pair button on the back of the BTC2X, we're going to actually first pair it to the BTC2 and wait. You will see the, yep, the light's blinking there. And that means that these are now matched together. Okay, so now that we've paired these up, we're going to complete the connections. So we have our optical for source five in this particular case we're going to use. It's a great way to connect audio. Right, so that's going to get you your audio to source number five. On the next right, screen. right. And then we're going to do the RNet connection for the data there. And this is going to allow you to get your metadata on your keypads, your app, your touchscreen. And finally, we'll plug the power back in. And that's it. So essentially, uh, all of this is kind of taken care of on your source number one by just this. Right. But again, when you're looking to add more than one Bluetooth connection, this is how you do it. There's a few steps involved, but it does get you the option of having multiple Bluetooth sources on your controller. Right. And this source input still works too. Right. So you can still use this as an additional source input. So if you're running, if you were running out of inputs, you could still double up and you know, plug a CD player into this, for example. So when you're not using Bluetooth, it'll always be the CD player. Right. So if you already had something, in this case, plugged into source number five, you wouldn't lose that source. You still have it, plus the Bluetooth option on the same source. Right. Very yeah. cool. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We appreciate you checking out all of our videos. We'll see you again next time.